King Charles, set to fulfill yet another royal duty in brave cancer battle. King Charles III will fulfill another royal duty, as he continues to receive treatment for cancer. The King, alongside Queen Consort Camilla, will visit Jersey, one of the Channel Islands, next month just days after the monarch swears in the UK's new Prime Minister. The couple have planned a visit to the islands on July 15, according to Deputy Bailiff of Jersey Robert McRae, who informed the state's assembly of the upcoming tour. The landmark visit is extraordinary for multiple reasons, being the first time since 2005 that a British monarch has visited Jersey, with Queen Elizabeth II having toured the area in nearly 19 years ago. Welcome to Royal Pancakes. If you are new here, Please don't forget to subscribe and click the notifications bell, so you don't miss any news about the British monarchy. It is also another key duty the monarch is carrying out while receiving treatment for his undisclosed cancer. The event won't be the king's first trip outside the UK since he started receiving treatment, however, after Charles jetted off to France last week to play a key role in international D-Day commemorations. Mr. McRae also said the King and Queen planned to visit the State's Assembly and Royal Court during their trip. They will leave for Guernsey on the 16th of July? The bailiff of Jersey's office said the visit would be primarily focused in St. Helier, the island's capital, with further details of the day's events to be shared at a later date. Jerry Kidd, the Lieutenant Governor of Jersey, told BBC News he was absolutely delighted about the King and Queen's visit, saying he was extremely proud of his island. He said, their visit is a reflection of the ancient and very personal relationship which has existed between Jersey, as one of the Crown's oldest possessions, and the monarch, which stretches back eight centuries. As His Majesty's personal representative on this wonderful island, I am extremely proud of the island, and the enduring affection and loyalty of its people to the Crown. King Charles announced that he would return to public duties in April, not long after starting his cancer treatment. A Buckingham Palace spokesperson said Charles was greatly encouraged to be resuming his duties, and that he was very grateful to his medical team for their continued care and expertise. They said, his Majesty the King will shortly return to public-facing duties after a period of treatment and recuperation following his recent cancer diagnosis. To help mark this milestone, the King and Queen will make a joint visit to a cancer treatment centre next Tuesday, where they will meet medical specialists and patients. This visit will be the first in a number of external engagements His Majesty will undertake in the weeks ahead. As the first anniversary of the coronation approaches, their majesties remain deeply grateful for the many kindnesses and good wishes they have received from around the world throughout the joys and challenges of the past year. King Charles fans took to social media to share their exasperation at the monarch being left to stand in the rain during the trooping of the colour salute today. The king saluted the Irish guards in the rain during celebrations today, causing his admirers to worry for his health. It's a long old day for King Charles to stand in the rain tbh, one person wrote on the social media app X. Why is the king standing in the rain getting cold? Another person asked. He will get pneumonia. Get him in. One person said that someone could have got him a covered stand. The king, 75, is undergoing treatment for cancer. During today's celebrations, he was seen riding in a carriage, not the same as his traditional use of horseback. He waved a gloved hand at supporters as the procession continued alongside the Queen, who was also seen waving. Scores of royal fans lined the parade route in central London, despite the rain. Many will have been pleased to see the Princess of Wales in her first public appearance since her own cancer diagnosis. In a video, Kate said, I'm looking forward to attending the King's birthday parade this weekend with my family and hope to join a few public engagements over the summer, but equally knowing I am not out of the woods yet. I am learning how to be patient, especially with uncertainty. Taking each day as it comes, listening to my body, and allowing myself to take this much-needed time to heal.